Okay, Edith LeBert here with Kaylin Lochran. Kaylin, you are a product of Cage Warriors Academy. What was it like tonight to be on the big stage fighting as a pro and making such a big statement? This was, this was literally me living my dream, Edith. I, I literally mean that. When the, I'm sorry, breath. When the start of the year, my coach Ken told me that he was talking to Cage Warriors. And then one day he just texted me, che check your emails, Kaylin. And there was Cage Warriors contract. And I swear on my life, that, that might as well have been a UFC contract in my head, honestly, because I know exactly where this is now. I know exactly what I have to do. I have to win the Cage Wars belt, and I'm in the UFC. And throughout the whole COVID pandemic, I was on the outside watching these Cage Wars trilogies, and it was like really getting me because I just know my level under, under Team Cowboy, Colin Hearn, Mike Grundy, Holly McLean. Been around Tom Aspinall, been around Don Hill, been all around these guys. I know that I know I can be the best band mate in the world, Edith. And I know that that fight there, I, I've really been fighting bums as of recently outside the UK scene. I, I know that, I'm not afraid to say that. But that, that was really about a two year absence, really out of the cage. I came back, and that was just because I wanted it more. And I swear on my life, I will back myself in that fight against any man on this planet. If it comes down to grit and making you tired and rats you against the cage and, and, and just wanting more, I'll win that fight. Well, I'll win that fight. I'll win the middle bit belt in that fight, 100%. You were, you were at UFC London and you posted a picture on your Instagram saying, Trust the process. We all know Cage Wars is a proven pathway to the best. UFC. But what does it look like? Is it, what does the process you know, look like exactly for you moving forward? Well, I have a five-fight deal with Cage Wars. I want that at, le at least them five fights. One because I just, Cage Wars is so cool. I just want to fight here. This whole experience was sick, and we're coming to Belfast in June, so it's going to be a whole. I haven't fought at home in nearly four years. But the process is, I win the Cage Wars belt, and, si and it's just it's just that simple. I'm going to win the Cage Wars. I'm going to be Cage Wars champion. I'm going to beat Nathan Fletcher. Dominic looks like he's waiting his ass whooping Vegas. Sound no problem. Lose over there, I don't care. I don't know how anyone could watch that and think that that skinny f flyweight could beat me. He w he would get it annihilated, but it is what it is. I'm going, to, I'm going to be the Cage Wars bantamweight champion I, I, and I just need to take my time for the UFC. I don't need to take my time for these guys. I don't even need to take my time for the bottom of the UFC. I need to take my time for Piotr Jan. I'm realistic. No, it's not smart me fighting Piotr Jan right now. So just take my time, take at least these five belts and just be, be the next Cage Wars guy. It's the, it's, it's, it's the best, it's the second best promotion in the world, but it's the best way to get to the best promotion in the world. So thank you to my team because Go look back at my amateur fights, guys taking me down. That's not going to happen now. I, I, I dictate the wrestling. And it's because of Mike Grundy, and it's because of Colin Aaron, and it's because of the time they've put into me, and it's because of my mindset. That's what it is. And what about your brother? He's now 6 0 as an amateur. Is he also <laughs> hoping to join you in the cage, as, as a pro in Cage Wars? 100%. 100% I'm, sure, I'm sure he does. He's, uh, he's only learning under Mike and Colin as well. He's, only, he's fighting tomorrow night. I actually, if I'm being 100% honest, he's better than I was at 20 years old because he's been with them guys younger. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't care if people disagree with me or not. I think he's the, probably the best amateur Ireland's ever had because of the coaching he's been, ha been since he was 18. When he was 18 years old, he was laying 18-year-olds out in 20 seconds. Now he's been fighting grown men, so we're, uh, we're on this journey together, <laughs> all the way to the top. And speaking of brothers, I, I, it seems like you're not really a fan of the Diaz brothers. Is oh, there no, no, I, I, <laughs> I am. I, I, Nate Diaz is a fucking legend. I just think that I'm better. I think we're better. But he's a fucking, he's a legend. Well, I was going to ask you if you want to be on the Belfast card, but it sounds like oh, fuck you me. definitely want to be, right? <laughs> do you know what it is? Do you, I'll tell you a story. It's a bit weird. Um, I used to, before I moved to Liverpool, I used to do a lot of my training in uh, Belfast. I'm from Tyrone. And uh, I'd be up in Belfast once or twice a day, and I would uh, go home the long way, through the city, through the traffic, just to, I swear to God this is true. To get a like a to visualize the SSC arena. Obviously, there was the UFC. I was visualizing, but it's still, it's it's on the bucket list. So, oh fuck, I'm I'm fighting that yard. I, I could fight. I could fight anyone. I'm not going to fight for the belt. I probably don't deserve that. I'd win it, but I probably don't deserve it. So. So will there be a big crowd there supporting you if you're fighting in Belfast? <laughs> a group of fucking loopers. They're down there. They're half them down there now. Probably been on the drink all day. So, I will be a good crowd in Belfast. Well, Can't welcome wait. to Cage Warriors and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much.